how do I grow on social media? Well, I've kind of been in such position many years ago as a beginner artist, and now I'm here to share my grandma wisdom with all of you. Number one, join the trends. Literally the most obvious one, but somehow just always works. Think of any trend that is happening on TikTok or a trending animation meme. Trending content is always pushed out to new people by the algorithm. This has always been the case on all of the social media platforms. You just have to be really quick and be able to catch up with the new trends. But this option works every single time. If it does not work out on the first time, it might do the job for the second time you try. Number two, participate in challenges. Have you ever seen these type of art challenges where an artist draws an art piece and encourages people to redraw the same thing but in their art style? This trend is mostly seen on Instagram, TikTok, and joining such challenges is actually a gold mine. As most of the artists are reposting and showcasing your version of a drawing on their stories, which brings new people to look at your art and follow you. Number three, create videos. This might be just me, but I've noticed that because of TikTok's relevance, a lot of social media platforms like Instagram, YouTube are onto this idea of pushing out short content or just videos in general. I personally do not think this should be a 24-7 option, but the algorithm is currently pushing out the video format videos. Uploading speed paints and just your art process, animation, will most likely help you as the algorithm will push out your videos to the new audiences. Number 3.5 Sponsorship break. <laughs> so most of you here who are watching are artists. And I thought, why not tell you about the supplier who can turn your art into keychains, stickers, enamel pins, and more? With Vogue Race, you can find yourself looking at endless catalog of items. And even I got a few items to showcase myself. These were sent to me by Vogue Race. Some of these are examples of what you can do with your art. And as you may see, the possibilities are endless. Majority of the items also offer glitter coating, glow in the dark. If you are not sure about the quality, they got these sample packages that you can get and be the judge of before getting to work with Vogue Race. If you struggle with the process of making them, Vogue Race also offers customer support and so many tutorials on their blog posts. Every item that is listed on their website has step-by-step -step tutorials and explanations on the right side of the page, which you can scroll around and read. Purchasing said items is also not complicated. For example, you'll be met with a few options. Whether you want your keychain to be double-sided with a different design, to choosing regular keychain coating or holographic glittery coating, and of course, the sizing of the keychain. And accessories. This one is the most complicated part. They got quite a big list of options and they all look cute, so it's very much difficult to choose. And the final one, the quantity you want. A friendly reminder that the more you order, the better discount you're going to receive. And if you want even better discounts, join their VIP program. They got even better discount deals and it is worth joining if you plan on becoming a regular customer. As always, I'll be including links to the Vogue Race website in the description. Number four, collaborate with artists. This one is very clear. Just collaborate with other artists. Do an art trade. Create an animation meme together. Your friend that you're already collaborating with probably already has people that would love to check out your art as well. And the final one, number five, share your art on Discord servers, advertise your social media as well. Discord server art channels can be a huge advantage for new artists. You can always join any artistic server or even a fandom based one. Share your art, include your social media, and now you're seen by many people that might be interested in following you for your art outside of Discord. And that's my list but this list is based on my personal experience as an artist, and I do hope it kind of helps out.